What's up fellow earthlings? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Lee Hires, aka the King of Junk. If you're just now joining into my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also hit that like button because it's going to be a great video. So for today's video, we're going to go ahead and talk about some strategies, tips and tricks of dumpster rental. I have some roll off dumpsters as you guys know and we rent them out on a daily basis. I wanted to go ahead and give you some of those strategies, tips and tricks um, of just dumpster rental because a lot of times we talk about junk removal on this channel and I know that a lot of you are interested in doing just dumpster rental so I'm going to go ahead and make this video for you. Without further ado, let's get on with it. Let's not forget the shout out of the day. Thank you very much for constantly commenting on my channel. And if you want to be the next one to be shouted out right here on my hand, just go ahead and comment down below. Ask me a question. You guys can comment the king of junk is the best. You guys can comment that I need more subscribers. You can also hit that like button for me. Thank you, thank you very much. Motion and action. What are the differences? Austin, what are you talking about? You're probably saying, unless you already know what I'm talking about, then you're probably saying that's a great thing to tell people. So you're a cigarette smoker, you wanna stop smoking cigarettes, and you go online and you look up ways to stop smoking cigarettes. You find yourself several ways to stop smoking cigarettes, and then you write them down and then you don't do anything after that that's motion without action guys so motion without action you're gonna go nowhere you're gonna get nowhere in life I'm sorry to tell you I'm sorry to be hard um, but this is the truth if you keep just searching for stuff looking stuff up planning for stuff making sure uh, everything's gonna be right you know okay you have to have some action at some point so Without action, you will go nowhere. If you didn't know that already, the difference between motion and action in life, then uh, now you do. Here's another example. You own a business and you hear about Google Ads all the time. And you go and look up Google Ads, you make, a Google, you make yourself a Google Ads account, and then you never do anything with it. You're like, oh, uh, uh, I don't wanna spend any money. That is motion without action, guys. Motion without action, just another example. All right, if you didn't know, now you know, and if you already knew, let's move on to number two. When talking about strategies, you have to have goals. Goals like how much do you wanna make, what time do you wanna wake up, who are you marketing to, who do you wanna to market to, how big do you wanna grow your business, how fast do you wanna grow your business, and how many times do I have to ask you to hit that like button? Hit the thumbs up down below, please and uh, always have goals, guys. That is part of strategy. So make sure you make these goals um, and then you have motions on these goals and then you have actions on these goals. So let's move on to the next uh, little tidbit here. One strategy I can say that has worked very well uh, for somebody I know and they make millions of dollars a year in their business is targeting directly to roofers. Uh, this is mostly for people that have roll-off dumpsters that can handle the weight of a roof in their dumpster but if you target roofers and you get several contracts with roofers they're always doing roofs so you'll always have dumpsters rented out and they usually flip them pretty quickly that's one strategy with dumpster rental that you can use uh, and it works it's proven to work and I've seen it work and he's a very successful person you know who I'm talking about. If you're watching this video, you better hit that like button. Also, let's move on to the next subject. If you're not targeting roofers and construction workers with your dumpster rental business, then you're using Google Ads to target as many uh, residential properties as possible. And those are, people, those are the people that will pay the most money uh, with the least amount of hassle. I could do it myself. Target the people that are not gonna say that, Not not the do-it-yourselfers, but the people that are complete opposite, that don't want to do anything themselves and want to pay for it. Um, they'll pay your price gladly every time. Like and subscribe, or I shall crush you.
with the force. Now let's talk about some tips that will help your dumpster rental company. My first tip is always keep spare parts around your yard or your office or your garage, wherever you're keeping your dumpsters at, always keep spare parts. Like if you have roll off dumpsters, you want to keep a, a, a spare uh, cable, even a spare winch if you can afford it. Keep a spare winch. Uh, keep spare tires, keep spare rims, uh, spare bearings, spare lug nuts. You want to keep spare chains, spare tarps, and some extra wood in case you're using wood to uh, build your sides. Buy extra wood because that wood will break um, and you'll have to replace it. For example, let me show you right now. See this is muck down there. Oh, no, nope, sorry, that's Sir Mater. Sir Mater. And you can see the top is broken and that's a wood piece on the top so I'll have to replace that soon. I keep spare wood around just to do that. So yes, I am sitting on top of my Connex right now, and yes, I am laying down actually, and yes, my wife just brought me lunch, so I'm eating chicken tenders. Let's continue talking about what we were talking about. I was giving you some tips, so my next tip guys would be that you need to let the customers know when you arrive to drop your dumpster off what goes in it and what does not you have to make sure you're very specific about it tell them on the phone and then tell them when you arrive and uh, even ask them when you pick it up <laughs> was there anything this 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 or this thrown in the dumpster just to re uh, um, just to reiterate yourself uh, several times and that way you also get in the habit yourself to say it several times to the customer every time and I, I would say that's a good habit to get into and that's a great tip for you to use if you're just getting started in your dumpster rental business do not forget to tell them what can and can't go a lot of times you want to just get in your truck drop the dumpster off get back in your truck and leave and um, take your payment or whatever and and I know that I do that myself and I'm sure some of you have done that do not forget to tell them what can and can't go so let's get on to the next tip. My next tip is get yourself a business phone line. I'm not talking about use your own cell phone number that you already have. Get yourself a business phone line. Because if you ever want to be a bigger company uh, than just starting out, if you ever want to have growth, you want to have this number that you're always using. And that's fine if you want to use your personal cell phone in the very beginning, but I found it very annoying. And so right away, I switched to a business phone line. And uh, I mean, not right away, right when I started getting annoyed, I switched to a business phone line. Get yourself a business phone line, a separate number, whether you have a local number or 800 number like I have. I have an 833 number and it works out great. I love it. We receive calls on it and uh, it records calls. Also, when you join WorkEase, this is a great thing about WorkEase guys, real quick. When you join WorkEase, you can get two phone numbers for yourself through WorkEase that they give you to use through the app on your phone. Let's get on to the next tip, huh? All right, so my next and last tip for you guys is to start small and grow big. I would say that um, I'm super happy I did that. I started small and I grew big. I started with a flat trailer and like uh, a 1500 uh, Chevy Avalanche, 2004 or something like that, or whenever. I started out small, guys. And I grew up to a dump trailer, and then I got me another truck, I got me another dump trailer, and then I got me a dump truck. Just here recently, I sold my dump truck. I don't know if you guys remember I had a Dodge. And also I sold my dump trailer. And I'll uh, put that up right here too. So the guy pulled out my dump trailer. I sold both my dump trailers and my dump truck. Uh, I have all roll off containers now that I switch back and forth between junk removal and dumpster rental. I got some tricks for you guys. 
All right, so if you're just starting in the dumpster rental business, you don't know that you can do one day rentals, one day rentals for less than you do your regular three or five or seven day rentals. So I have five day rentals, and let's say we're doing a 12 yard. I do it for 275 normally for five days, but you can use a one day rental and sell it for 229.99, which is my price. Obviously, you can do whatever price you want. So basically 230 bucks, I sell it for one day. Pick it up the next day, I dump it. Sell it again for 230. So that's two days, I made $460 in two days, opposed to dropping it off for five days and making 275. So 460 or 275, opposed to five days for a 275 rental. Would you guys do that? I mean, you have more dump fees, but you're making a lot more money for five days. So, you have more gas, obviously, more time. But I believe it's a better deal. You let me know. Use it if you want. Okay, guys, so this is another trick that I use on a daily basis in my business. I know we're talking about dumpster rental today, but if you happen to offer junk removal in your business as well, if somebody calls and says, hey, I need a junk removal, man, uh, it's like a full load, yeah? <laughs> I don't know what kind of accent that was, but... <laughs> If they need a junk removal and it's a full load and uh, and you have dumpsters just sitting around say you've got like five dumpsters in the yard and you're like I need to sell some you could be like hey I got it some I got some dumpsters here I could drop it off to you it's only 275 compared to 475 if you just load it yourself and I do that all the time I'll sell a dumpster for a junk removal and sometimes I'll do vice versa I'll sell a junk removal for a dumpster so they call for a dumpster and I'm like hey I'm out of dumpsters but I can provide you a junk removal service and come pick all your stuff up for you um, because I have you know my one container that I keep for junk removal and that's been hard to do lately so I need to buy some more dumpsters I want to make sure you guys check out my last video I have a testimonial in that video for the power hour that I have a link to down below you can give me a call anytime and ask me any questions you want for one hour for 45 bucks and you can sign up down below with that link the video before this has a testimony from the first person that signed up with me and they loved it and uh, and I appreciate you Kyle shout out to you bro I hope everybody else is doing well comment down below if you have any questions I can answer them down below but if you want to talk for an hour and get really detailed about stuff let's do it guys